live recording. Okay. I think I'm live recording now. So, happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm trying something new. Hopefully it works out okay. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna see your comments or not with this new app. The whole purpose of it is I wanted to try to throw some things in here. Looks like my hand goes the other way, that's weird. Um, so anyways, um, the name of this, um, what I'm doing today, I call, called it What Can You Do? And it, it's really to kind of focus on what you're capable of, what you believe about yourself. So that uh, picture in the corner, that's of a gentleman by the name of Jaime Escalante. And he's a pretty amazing guy. Maybe some of you guys recognize the name and some don't. He was a teacher. Uh, he taught at the inner schools in East LA. And basically what he ended up having to convince other people of, his students and everybody else, is that he started out by convincing his students is that you can change your surroundings. You can change your life if you believe that you can change what you know. By changing what you know, you can change your surrounding. And I guess my point here is that, so he taught at a school in the inner city. Um, it was basically mainly attended by um, majority immigrants that lived in a very impoverished area in uh, Los Angeles. So a lot of these kids, they didn't have a lot of opportunities. They lived in terrible situations, had very difficult home lives, so forth. And basically society, everybody, just wasn't putting a lot of uh, faith in whatever they were gonna be able to do and produce for um, our country. And you know, here came Jaime Escalante and what he saw and what he wanted for them was so different than what everybody else was. He literally, um, when, when he looked at the potential of what these kids could do and become, he didn't see struggling immigrants that aren't gonna be able to amount to anything. He saw, you know, rocket scientists and NASA engineers and leaders of the world. And he first had to start by convincing these kids that this is real. They can do this, but they have to believe it. It starts with them having to believe it. And then it got to the point that he even had to battle his own school and the school board that what he was going after, um, that they need to get behind him. You know, you wouldn't think that a teacher would have to fight for trying for the best for their students, but he did. And, you know, here's the other thing is that he put a lot of time into not just working with these kids during school, but after school, times that he wasn't getting paid. He did it, and the reason is he did it is because he found his purpose, he found his passion. And when you find your purpose and it's bigger than you, it's bigger than who you are, you are all in. It's, it's easy, it doesn't matter if you're getting paid, it doesn't matter about anything else. What he did and the influence that he had, you know, Jaime Escalante was just, another teacher in an inner city school in East LA. He was done teaching back in the 90s, right? And here I am in 2018, a kid that grew up in the Midwest and I'm talking about him. Why, why is that? Well, the reason is because of the impact that this guy did, what he was able to accomplish, the belief, the strength and the determination and the his belief was so strong that it, it just, it had an influence on generations. He changed the lives of every one of those kids uh, in his classroom, but he also changed the lives of the kids of the kids in the classroom and their kids and their kids. He affected the lives of thousands of people. And when we found out about his story, everybody that watched it and saw it was motivated by what this guy was able to accomplish. These kids that no one thought anything of, that they couldn't accomplish anything. In a million years, no teacher is gonna take an effort to teach advanced calculus to these kids that lived in this impoverished inner city area in East LA, advanced calculus. These, 
where did that come from? They, they never showed that, you know, of all those standardized tests that we have, you know, that tell what your ability is and where we should place you. They didn't come out ahead in any of these placements. So why would we be doing that? Well, I'll tell you why we could be we did that is because here's the thing. Jaime Escalante realized that in every single one of you, everyone, you have the ability, if you believe in yourself, to accomplish things that that would absolutely blow your mind away. And and, and that's that's the point of what I'm trying to teach today. One of the other one of the motivators that I like to listen to is Les Brown, and he also has a story. Uh, and he had a teacher that was kind of like Jaime Escalante in his life that made a huge profound difference in his life. When he was a child in school, he was labeled educable, mentally retarded. He's put in these special classes and his teacher asks him to come to this blackboard and solve a problem. And he goes, well, sir, I, I can't do that. He goes, what do you mean I can't do it? Well, I, I can't go up to the board and solve that problem. What do you mean you can't come up to the board and solve that problem? Why is that? Well, sir, I'm educable, mentally retarded. And he immediately came over to his desk and he said, hey, son, you listen to me here right now. You are not what somebody else thinks you are. You are not what somebody else thinks you are capable of. You are capable of amazing, limitless things. You are not what somebody else thinks you are capable of. And a light bulb went off in his head. And he goes, wait a second. You mean I'm not limited? You mean I can accomplish all these amazing, great things? To this day, right? Les is one of the highest paid speakers in the country, in the world probably. He's made more money in one hour of speaking than a lot of people make an entire year. He spoke for some of the largest companies in the, in the U.S. and in the world for all their high ups, all their execs. He comes in and he speaks. And you know what? Les Brown never attended college, right? But did that get in the way of Les Brown going ahead and getting out there and applying and putting himself out there for those opportunities? No. And what did he accomplish by doing that? He got those opportunities. Why did he get those opportunities? Because deep down he knew it wasn't the college education that I need to do that. It's the belief in myself that I need to do that. That's where it starts with, right? You gotta start with believing. Then you gotta, you gotta work. And you gotta work really hard and you gotta keep working really hard. You know, and I heard here today that, you know, bad habits are easy to form and they're really easy to keep, right? Hard habits, good habits are hard to start and they're hard to keep, right? It's hard to push yourself at the gym. It's hard to get up the next day when you don't feel like doing it and go to the gym again and again. And while everybody else is laying on the couch and watching TV, that you walk over to the corner and you pick up and you start reading a book. That you are constantly working on growing yourself, on improving yourself, on becoming the best version of yourself. But let me tell you that, you know, it's hard to do today what others won't, but that's what it takes to have more tomorrow than others, you know, that others won't, you know, to have tomorrow what others won't. So, um, and, and, and that, that also goes into the fact that we're just programmed. Our brains are programmed for comfort, right? We're programmed to just be safe and be comfortable. And if you want to go ahead and get to that next level, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay, um, you know, the uh, other saying is that a man is not measured uh, by how he does when he's winning, but how he, be, how he behaves and how he acts when he gets knocked down, right? So, you know, you hear the stories about the Tony Robbins and, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's so many others, but obviously the Sylvester Stallone that I talked about yesterday, you know, these guys that have all this success, that have these amazing lives, you know, they, the, the rock, you know, they, they all have the stories of when they had 20, 40 bucks, 100 bucks in their pocket to their name, you know, they were at the bottom, right? And what turned it around? It wasn't that they had the resources, it's that they had the belief and then became resourceful, right? So, um, 
you know, again, I, I want to focus on my opportunity and my trading. And, you know, here's the thing. Swipe trades, to, to, to the, for the most part, they're very easy. I, I can go ahead and I can show you how to do it. You're going to make money doing it. It's going to improve your financial position. Um, there is going to be still some uncomfortability in, you know, going through the steps to get it set up. You know, so you're going to have those hoops even if you do swipe trades. That, that Because, you know, learning the unknown, people get very agitated. They have very little patience. This is uncomfortable. I don't want it. Bad idea. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not interested. Well, then that's not the only thing you can do, right? I, I introduce you to a platform where there are people doing things across the board. And the people that have the time and dig in, some of them are just hitting home runs through the roof. And so a couple stories, one story, I don't know if I've told it or not, but there was a guy that, uh, you know, one of my um, mentors, educators with M iMarkets Live tells about, you know, your focus and your persistence without exception. And this guy that was persisting and trying but you know he was down on his luck at the time. He was very low at finances. He literally told the group at the time that there was a point where he was eating out of dumpsters uh, to feed himself, right? And this same person that he focused and focused and focused and wouldn't give up and kept trying and kept going. Two years later, this guy ends up having over $5 million in his bank account, okay? And, and let me tell you, there's stories like that in my group all over the place. I got pictures I can throw out all over the place of people that, thank you, IML, I quit my job. Um, there was another one just recently I heard of a guy that took the swipe trades and then looked at a few couple things and did a couple different things, you know, in analyzing them um, and not just taking the trade, but, but doing a few more things. And over these last three weeks, he has not lost a single trade right so it just takes that determination and that hyper focus and you can shoot through the roof you you can get it right but it, it all starts with believing in yourself and then putting in the work staying consistent and and, and working hard so um i i wrote this down too i just i just kind of this is what 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 i believe um and, uh, you know, so I believe you are a favored creation of the maker of the earth, right? The, the animals and all around us are beautiful. I love checking out nature, they, but they are here to serve our purpose. We are the favored creation from the person who created the entire universe. Your only limits in this life are your beliefs. What do you believe? What do you think you can do, right? If you can change that, you're gonna change your life. So that's my message for you today. Um, hopefully it did something for you. Have a great rest of the week. Take care.